going on YouTube? And today we here want to show off my PS3 collection. First we have Resident Evil 5, good game, although I prefer Resident Evil 4. It's a real good shooting game. It kind of drifted away from its survival horror type genre and just moved on to a, more of an action game. Next is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is the first art, uh, first person shooter I ever owned. I hated the rest. I really don't like first person shooters. But Call of Duty, the game that got me into it. Don't really play the campaign, just play online. Next is Assassin's Creed. At first, back when the game first came out, I really didn't like it. But then. After watching gameplay from Assassin's Creed 2, you know, decided, hmm, maybe should try it out, man. Played it, and, you know, left it. And next is Assassin's Creed 2, which is pretty much a better version of the first one. You know how to play the first one, you know. It has inventions and whatnot. It's a real great game. I love it. Next is Dynasty Warriors 6 Empires. I borrowed this from one of my friends. Since his PS3 died, if you get another one, I plan on getting it back. I'm not a real big fan of Dusty Boy series, but it's whatever. Next is Eternal Sonata, the superior PS3 version, which is very better than uh, Xbox 360 version. From what I think it's a really short RPG, but it's good though. Next is. This guy is three Athens of Justice. I'm a somewhat fan of this guy series, you know. Don't play many strategy RPGs. Well, I do play a lot of strategy RPGs, I just can't play through them. But this guy three is a really good one. Next is Valkyria Chronicles, one of the best RPGs on the PS3. It's like, a, it's a better strategy RPG. I love it. One great games. Next is Folklore. I had to get this game because they said the game was starting to get hard to find, but I never really played through it yet. So I can't make an opinion of it for real. Next is Cross Edge. This game has mixed reviews. RPG fans say that it's really good and all that, while other casual gamers say it's hard to play and all that but you know this I can't put my attention to the game because cross is just kinda boring story is boring next is Heavenly Soul supposedly people say it's a female god of war but you know it's a really cool game one of my first PS3 games I had next is God of War Collection since I never played the God of War game decided you know get this and you know like it I need to play it I never really play it next up is Ratchet and Clank Future on um, Cracking Time really I, I like Ratchet and Clank games especially the um first one that came out PS3 Tool of Destruction that was one of my favorites next is one of the best PS3 games ever Uncharted Drake's Fortune this is one of the games I used to hate too because I wasn't a big Uncharted fan until I saw the second gameplay which made me want to get Uncharted 2 which is everybody's favorite game and it's game of the year it's a good game I hate online play though okay. next is oh crap I dropped it but infamous great sandbox type games that to keep people shocked and kill them be good evil one more for another great game next is Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 don't really know why I got this for real I guess because the chicks on the back here with their big boobs or whatnot this is a great game action game I hate the first Ninja Gaiden Sigma hard as hell but this one is kind of acceptable Next up is so kind of before I really don't want to talk about the game because I broke so many controllers on here because uh so stupid. 
I'm pretty decent at it, but you know, that's what I'm. Next is Street Fighter 4. Everybody loves Street Fighter, and I can't wait for Super Street Fighter 4 to come out. Although I suck at it, but you know, that's what I was. We just played a half on. And after that is Tekken 6 on PS3. I'm pretty, you know. I like Tekken more than, you know, Street Fighter and whatnot. I guess because, you know, it's easier to play to me, that is. And I get my own words. And after the words is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. The other Naruto Ultimate Ninja game sucked. All on those on PS2 sucked. Except for this one. When they brought the PS3, this was good because it make you feel like you're a ninja and whatnot. Next is Bayonetta, the PS3 version, which everybody complains and bitch around, bitch about about the graphics and all that, and the fans talking about it's a Devil May Cry clone, which it is not. And pretty much the only thing wrong with this version is the load times. That's all. I mean the graphics, once you play the game, you really won't pay attention to it. There's people just pay attention to every single freaking detail. Next is Siren Siren Oh crap, I can't just fail but oh it's what I want. Siren New Translation. I bought this one because I ran I'm almost out of memory on my PS3 and I can't download the other one, the PS3, PSN version, so I went ahead and bought this because I didn't want to spend 10 gigs on my hard drive anymore. And next is Battle Fantasia. Uh, I guess this is a fine game made by the same people who made Guilty Gear. And, you know, I guess not many people have it because it only came out of 360 America and I think they recently just released it on the PlayStation Store as a downloadable title, but, you know, it's a pretty cool game. And I feel like a fairy tale Street Fighter RPG like thing. Next is Blaze Blue because Lemony Trigger, which is like Guilty Gear and probably the only 2D fine game I'm actually decent at. You know, fast pace, although I prefer it gets to get better. It's whatever. And the Japanese version, don't know why I got this, but the Japanese version, and the one down there is the North American version, but look, that's all of my PS3 game collection, so you can rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.